Greedy, the Honourable Tu Hanare. Thank you. My, minute, my question serves the Minister for Social Development and Employment. What announcements has she made on supporting young people into jobs? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, some very good ones. Yesterday the Prime Minister and I announced £55.2 million, uh, that is going into youth employment in this year's budget. Young New Zealanders were hit hard. We've certainly seen some of those numbers today come out in the HLES. We supported them initially with Job Ops and Community Max, which, keeping, which is keeping over 15,000 young people in the market. This is the next step and is a further 12,000 places for young people over the next few years. The Honourable Tohanare. Order, order, I want to hear the Honourable Tohanare. What are the key components of the Youth Employment Package? Uh, the Honourable Speaker, Paula Bennett. There are three key components to this package. One is skills for growth, which really relates that job to the training that is NZQA accredited. That means that young person is less likely to go back on a benefit because they're gaining real skills and real jobs in industries of need over a long period of time, like aged care, agriculture, horticulture. Job ops with training, which has been successful, we're just taking it that extra steps. And of course, the limited service volunteers, where we see fantastic motivation self-discipline, people eager to get ahead and we're keen to support them. Question. question oh, supplementary question. This, the Honourable Sir Roger Douglas. Speaker, could the Minister explain to the House what she considers extreme about wanting to allow a young Maori the right to work as an apprentice builder for $400 a week? And why does she think it is better that this person not be allowed to take up this job, preferring that he sit at home on the couch watching Desperate Housewives or playing Nintendo Wii. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, um, I'm uh, presuming that the member is actually referring to the uh, minimum wage and particularly for youth. Uh, I suppose we would just say that we are subsidising a lot of wages for employers. That is actually what these initiatives are doing and um, I really have no other answer to that question. Question number 